You are the king and the ruler of this nation. Father, we surrender. Whatever we have, we surrender. And I ask you that you brought me up here at such a time as this, when other men were better, they could have been here. But you brought me, Lord, in order to proclaim your name as our God. Father, I thank you. I thank you, God. If you were born in an African home, you would definitely remember this name, Chipolo Polo. I loved that name when I was a kid, and I can't believe that I'm in Lusaka. And guess where I am? I'm actually behind a beautiful stadium which got so much history. Like, do you know that I still can't believe that I'm here? Welcome to Zambia, my brother. Welcome to Zambia. Welcome to Zambia, <laughs> but I still don't believe like don't I'm believe in Zambia. Huh? Listen, brother. Uh -huh. When I was a kid, yeah. that's when I heard this story. Yeah. And um, coming here is makes me feel so emotional. Like, you know, I used emotion. to hear something, and now I'm here. You know, I, I would love to tell them the story, yeah. but it's all about Africa to the world. Yes. Telling our own story. Yeah. You being a Zambian, Very much born so. and raised. Mm -hmm. What is the history behind this beautiful stadium? Oh, welcome to Zambia. Uh, Thank you. I am Maya. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. This is the story behind the stadiums. So where, where we're standing, it's not just one stadium. Uh, what you see behind us, that's a recent stadium. It was built between uh, 2011 and uh, 2014. It was completed in 2014 and officially opened. So um, th there are two names that were suggested before it was named the Hero Stadium. Two names? Yes. The initial name was supposed to be Gabon Air Disaster Stadium. It was suggested by a minister of sports then, uh, Chimba Kambiri. Uh, now he's in the opposition, he's no longer part of the government. Okay. So at the time that he was the minister of sports, he mm -hmm. suggested to name it uh, Gabon Air Disaster Stadium. And then the, there was public uproar. But I, I feel like using that name is kind of disrespectful to the people who died Ex at that time. Th that is exactly what the reaction from the public was. Okay. They were like, you cannot not name uh, a stadium after that. We've grown, we've grown past the, the grieving stage, okay. like we've grieved for years and accepted that and we've got a new crop of uh, Chipolo Polo players. Yes, yeah. Exactly. So what, what, what's the point of naming a stadium after such a... So, so what is the new a, name right now? Exactly. So after public uproar, mm -hmm. the name was suggested by the public to say it's supposed to be named Hero Stadium. That's the power of social media. Mm -hmm. There was a social media campaign, most of the young people mm -hmm. said no, the name that we want is Hero Stadium. Hero uh, Stadium. Stadium. Yes. If someone is watching this video right now, yes. clearly don't know why the name Hero Stadium. Yes. Why the name Hero Stadium? Thank you. So this is a 60 seater capacity stadium, mm -hmm. um, and it's named the Hero Stadium because of the uh, Gabon air disaster, the one that was earlier mentioned, the name that was uh, suggested. Mm -hmm. So in 1993, mm -hmm. our players, the Chipolo Polo, uh, were going for a match in Gabon and uh, using a Zaf Air. Uh, airplane. Uh, ZAF is like the Zambia Air Force mm -hmm. uh, plane uh, we, which crashed in, in Gabon and uh, all the 25 players and the technical team that was part of it mm. died. So that's wow. where Heroes comes from. So that's the Heroes now, they are heroes, right? Yes, so yes. they use the name Hero. But I'm seeing another stadium right yes, behind that. Yes. This that was the stadium that you guys have before? Yes. This one? Yes. So uh, as I earlier mentioned, uh, the entire area is surrounded by two stadiums. Okay. So what you see behind us uh, is what is called the Independence Stadium. Uh, the Independence Stadium uh, represents our independence when Zambia became uh, independent from Britain, mm. which is 1964. Okay. So this is the stadium that, that you see behind us. Okay. So later on after it became in a deployable state. They said instead of renovating the mm -hmm. same stadium, mm -hmm. they decided to build the Hero Stadium, the one that we had mentioned. We didn't mention. Yes. So this is the graveyard where they bury the 25 players, including the technical uh, team. The technical team. Yes. So um, this is just right opposite uh, Independence Stadium mm -hmm. and uh, a few meters uh, behind uh, Hero Stadium. Mm -hmm. So what you see besides us, this is a uh, 
a grave, a grave site. Okay. So all the players that died in that plane crash in 1993 mm -hmm. uh, are buried here. Not only the players, but also the technical team that is uh, the doctors that are involved in mm -hmm. stuff, that 25 in total. Mm -hmm. And then uh, w one other um, important uh, story that is uh, worth noting is that uh, one player survived, uh, Great Kalu. I don't know if you've come across that name. Uh, he's a very good player for Zambia. Mm -hmm. So the time that his friends were on, on board this flight, mm -hmm. he, was, uh, he, he wasn't available to, to get on, on the flight. So he missed, he missed the flight and that's how he survived. He missed the flight? And survived. God really loves him. I know, right? <laughs> so, but is there any day, any special day that the entire country celebrates these heroes? Yes. Uh, so, um, there, there, there are two different days. I told you our independence, we obtained it in 1964, right? Yeah. And then uh, in, in 1993, I mean, mm -hmm. that's when these uh, gentlemen uh, passed on. Mm -hmm. So, um, because uh, we, we changed it from a, a grooming moment and mourning moment mm -hmm. into a celebration, mm -hmm. we said, let us honor these gentlemen on our uh, Independence Day, okay. when we celebrate our independence. So that's the day that has been picked when uh, we commemorate their, their lives, when we bring uh, the families together, uh, the families that are left behind. Mm -hmm. Because the most, most of the, these gentlemen are very young kids at the time that they had passed on, because they are in, the, in their prime themselves, they are not very old at the time. Yeah. So they had left very young kids, some of them were left in uh, months, some of them were left uh, no, not yet born as pregnancies. Um, so when you get to meet the families that are behind those names, that's when the effect comes in, you get the idea, right? Yeah. It's quite easy for a nation to say, no, we're celebrating these gentlemen, and, uh, because you don't see the faces that are really affected by yeah. their, their loss. Mm -hmm. So when, you, when uh, we celebrate them on the um, Independence Day, when you get to see the families where um, th there are no proper facts to this story, to say, okay, uh, this is exactly what caused the plane to crash, mm -hmm. and uh, there are some rumors to say uh, some of the parts that are buried in the, these graves are simply uh, plain uh, parts, uh, not necessarily the body parts. Body so all those misconceptions and uh, stories around the thing, now you can imagine that's a dad that, that's been talked about mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. Wow. And um, I can see that Zambians are not mourning anymore, ah, no. but rather celebrating yes. them. Are yes. they naming any streets, any schools, hospitals with these heroes? Because in Ghana, definitely we will name these people yes. for, uh, with our streets and other stuff. Uh, uh, you know, one thing that is very common about Africans is that our mindset is not very different. We are pretty much the same people. You get, <laughs> you get the idea, right? Yeah. So uh, the, the names of uh, these heroes that you mm. see there, when you go across the nation, you find either a road, a street, uh, some stadium, uh, some small pitch named after these gentlemen here. Wow. So pretty much every one of them is honored in, in, the, in that regard. Uh, because we decided to move from that morning state because we mourned for a while. If, yeah. um, there's footage all over uh, online you, where you can see even the president when he was acknowledging to say he lost this, he, he couldn't hold himself, his composure. There's this uh, assumption to say as a president you're not supposed to show emotions uh, yeah. and stuff like that. He could not hold it, he cried like a baby. If you see that the president at the time, that is President uh, Frederick Chiluba. He's also late, may he so rest in place. Yes. You know what? Being here, I can imagine how people felt in the year 1993. Yeah. It was a solemn moment. You, you, you can't moment. hold the, the tears that were in that stadium, the Independence Stadium. As we get closer, yeah. in West Africa, we have a tradition. Oh, really? You have to take off your shoes. That's the West African tradition. To pay respect. On behalf of myself, the entire YouTube subscribers, we're going to lay a wa watching this video for the first time, let's pay yes. respect to them. Yes, indeed. You are gone, but, but not, not forgotten. forgotten. May your soul rest, rest in, in internal peace.
if you want to see anything about Zambia, he's the best guy to show you around. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Go support him. Yeah, this is how we do it. It's all about Africa to the world. He will represent Africa to the world here in Lusaka. That's right. Zambia. MD90 is the name.